Hi everyone, today I am reviewing the new Buff Bunny Live Leggings that dropped last Saturday. Um, they came in four colorways and I picked up the beautiful Bora Bora turquoise color. Um, they also dropped some bras and some shorts. I guess it's a pre-launch, so to speak, um, in anticipation of a much larger launch coming soon. So a little bit about these. On the website, Buff Bunny describes them as designed with our luxurious and lightweight energy fabric our high-waisted and buttery soft live leggings make a great addition to any workout outfit. The lightweight four-way stretch versatility offers the right amount of compression needed to conquer even the sweatiest of training sessions. These are $64 plus shipping. Um, usually that's about five to six dollars. They have a 26 inch inseam. Uh, they are 70% nylon and 30% spandex. Um, as I mentioned, this is the Bora Bora turquoise blue color. They came in three other colors. Those are navy, uh, a livid blue, which is kind of a mix between gray and light blue, and black. So first up, what I really liked about this was the flat waistband. It lays real flat against your skin. If you wear a fitted top, you can't really see any bunching or gathering underneath. It's very minimalist. I also like how stretchy they are because they have a high percentage of spandex in the fabric. They will fit perfectly. Um, I bought a size large. I generally wear a size large. Um, I was a little bit worried because in the past Buff Bunny has run extremely small, um, but this these leggings actually fit very well for being a large. Because of the fabric blend, they are silky and lightweight. They feel very soft, very buttery. You'll hear that in all of the descriptions of them. The fabric is also very opaque. You can't see through these. I haven't done an official squat test just because it's hard to gauge on yourself, but I'm confident wearing these knowing that they are not see-through. They are lightweight, but they are not see-through by any means. Last but not least, I really love the minimalist style. There's nothing fancy about these leggings. Um, I would say the biggest detail is the back, this little tapered design down into the booty, um, and then the very minimalist reflective buff bunny emblem on the back. So now on to the cons about these leggings. First up, I was kind of inconvenienced by not having any pockets. And I'm not just talking about pockets um, on your hips where you can throw in your phone or your keys. I'm just talking maybe a little pocket in the waistband where you can hide a key. When I go to the gym, I don't really want to put my things in a locker or carry them in a bag, especially now when you just want to avoid putting things down onto other surfaces. Um, I always have my key fob with me and I love being able to throw it into my waistband. When I wear these into, in the gym, I actually had to put my fob in my bra and uh, then it gets all sweaty and gross. So um, I was a little disappointed that these didn't have any pocket anywhere. Um, also, I noticed that these are very hot. Um, I've done a few workouts and I just felt like the heat clung to my body and it couldn't escape through the leggings. It was kind of like wearing non-athletic leggings, if you kind of understand that reference. If you've ever worn uh, leggings that are not performance, it just kind of feels like the heat in your body has nowhere to go because the fabric is so thick. I also felt like these were possibly not the most sweat resistant. I wasn't doing a hardcore workout. I am not a heavy sweater, but when I got up off the bench, I was a little bit self-conscious that um, my booty area was going to be really sweaty. And of course, that's not something I'm just going to check out in the mirror and be like, oh, do I have a sweat stain back there? Um, so that was something a little, I was a little self-conscious about, um, mixed with the fact that I felt like my body was trapping in extra heat because it couldn't escape through the leggings. Um, they were kind of uncomfortable despite being um, so soft and form-fitting. Um, the functionality of them was not comfortable by any means. My last bone to pick is that these leggings, albeit they are fitted, there is no compression. When I put them on, I kind of feel like I'm putting on tights. Um, I haven't worn tights in my whole adult life, but just referring back to childhood, when you put on tights, they kind of just seal you in without providing any compression, any uh, shape to your body. Um, I'm showing you the uh, live of me wearing these. Um, ultimately, I think that these leggings are actually very comparable to the LuLaRoe leggings that were a massive hit a few years ago. If you've never tried those, um, 
they are more of a lifestyle legging, something that you would wear with a long top, a dress, um, not necessarily something you would wear to the gym. Um, the fabric uh, knit is different. These are smoother and stretchier, but overall, I'm not really convinced that they are a performance legging. When I go to the gym, I want to feel like I can lift and do what I'm going to do without worrying that I'm going to have a puddle of sweat go through the color. I would say possibly the black would eliminate that, um, but then that kind of takes away the fun of wearing colorful leggings.